I'm preparing the Active Directory for my um, vSphere project. Um, this is uh, Windows 2000 Service Pack 2. It's a DC1. And it got what? 384 uh, ROM. Um, it's running from this. Um, Workstation, um, it's Workstation 7, and it's 384 one processor, and it's connected to one of my network, Marvel Yukon. Okay, um, so here we click Add or Remove. Okay, after this you will select Active Directory and click Next and say Run that one. Click again Next. Click Next and Next and this is a new domain. Uh, domain in a new forest. That's the first one and we will say VMware.com. Uh, Um, actually, I changed it to be spear. Okay, we'll select all that DNS. I need DNS, and this is for 2000 or 2003. I don't need legacy. And my restore mode is just simple password. Okay, and next. Oh, shit head, I need the, the Okay. Oh, from my workstation, I need to grab my... Okay, in the background, I put the CD. Now it's installing the DNS. And then it will say finish. And then restart now. Uh, finish again. It's restarting on the workstation. Okay, the Windows Enterprise is restarting. Okay, after login, it say this is now a domain controller. Finish. Okay, I need to log in again to make sure I'm on the domain controller. I'm in the domain bsphere.com. Okay, I'm logging as administrator of the domain. And I want to make sure I have the proper. Okay. Ah, I'll put the other one now. And then the other one is not created yet. Okay, close. Uh, what do I need to check? Okay, I need to check the DNS. DNS is supposed to have just one computer. Okay, and then Active Directory is working. What happened? Administrative tools, and I'm on the users and computers. Okay, that's work. Um, I don't need um, all this crap. I'm going to the second uh, DC that I need to turn. So click Add Remove. Again, this is the DC2. Uh, doesn't show here. Okay, this this is the DC two. Oh, still DC one. I have to rename this one first. So in that case, I need to copy uh, this one. 
the new set copy and put it here okay so I copy this new set this is a utility I don't know it's from Microsoft probably okay next random seed and then I will rename this one to DC2 okay let me check again maybe I'm doing it okay it's 101 okay uh, apply and then okay it's restarting itself okay we're back and check if the computer is now DC2 okay it's still work group now we need to add the second DC controller in the port now in here we will select domain controller next and next again next again and this is additional not a new domain already supplied the uh, login to the domain administrator and the domain name is supposed to be here click next 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 okay please store password is one two three oops <laughs> okay he got my secret okay post okay it's something like that when it's configuring it the second controller like that blah 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 let me say here finish and restart now and then another finish and then it will restart okay and here in the workstation that DC2 is restarting okay let's try to connect now using RDP oh. try to log in now okay let's verify if it's really the active directory uh, manage user blah 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 okay let's see first here come on I don't have time okay it works um, on my next video I will configure this one again the next video will be to configure the synchronization and the DHCP I will have DHCP on the next uh, video